Okay, so hello, welcome back. Now, as they essentially, as the following what we learned in the previous video about estimation and rounding numbers. So then, basically, what you can um, essentially what you can do is that you can you I mean, the, usually, essentially, what happens is that you can of course you can round your numbers to any place value which is useful to essentially to your situation right meaning that for example if i have a number seven eight if i have a number for example seven eight six five um, three four four three two one now this number has so many digits it's a essentially this is the thousands and this is the million and this is the billion right so that's seven billion eight hundred sixty eight hundred sixty five million three hundred forty four thousand three hundred twenty one right this could be for example i don't know the population of the world or, or anything like that now you can round your number to essentially to the to the appropriate place value meaning that for example suppose that for whatever reason for example these three digits are not important to you so me and then and then you would round your, the number to the thousandth place value suppose that all of these digits are not important to you then you would round your number to basically to this place value which is the 10,000th place value or essentially you would say that they would ask you <coughs> or you would want to round the number to, ne to the nearest 10,000 or to the nearest thousands or to the nearest hundred thousands or to the nearest million or to the nearest nearest 10 million to the nearest uh, uh, 100 million right so this is essentially the the, the nearest millions nearest um, 10 millions nearest 100 millions nearest billions and so on and so forth right and so essentially to to round your number um, essentially what you will suppose that for example you want to round this number to the nearest um, Ten thousands, meaning this 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 digit this place value, meaning that all of these digits, the value that they represent, essentially they are not important to you. You just want to substitute all of the digits with zeros, basically. So then you would write, for example, seven eight six five three four, and then after basically after the after this place value you have four three two one so you can just simply forget about all of the digits and substitute all of the digits with zeros right four zeros if you put there that that essentially does not change the the value of these place values meaning that the place values remain unchanged but then essentially these digits themselves are substituted with zeros, right? And of course you have to be careful with, with this number. Now let me show you another number so that now this is unnecessarily too large. So that, let's say that 78, for example, 65432. Let's say that you have this number. And you want to round this number to this digit, which is the nearest um, ten thousands, right? Meaning that all of these digits are supposed to be, uh, or are supposed to be basically uh, substituted with zeros, right? Now, what you need to do is that you need to take a, take a look at essentially since you want to round to the nearest basically ten thousands which is this place value uh, this of course remains but then all of these digits are are to be basically substitu substituted with zeros right so then you take a look at the digits immediately to the right of the digit 
to which the number is to be rounded, meaning that the number is, is to be rounded to the nearest ten thousands, the digit which is immediately to the right of that digit would be essentially the, the thousandths place value, right? Now, if this number is anything like a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, and a 9, then of course, from the, from the, essentially from the, from the um, number line, you know that essentially that, that essentially the number is, is closer to the, to the greater number. You can remember, you can essentially remember the, the, the numbers that we discussed before. So let's say that you have, for example, a, a 9, a 10, 11, 12, for example, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and for example, 21, right? Now, take any of these numbers, for example, the 16, right? And you want to, to, to round the number to the nearest tens, which is essentially this place value. So you take a look at this digit, which is immediately to the right of the, of the, of that digit, basically. And then if this number is anything like, for example, a five, six, seven, eight, nine, then that, that essentially means that basically that, that the number that you're looking at, which is 16, is of course somewhere between a 10, and a 20 right and since this digit is a 6 that means that the that means that your number the number is actually closer to the to the greater number meaning not the 10 but the 20 so then you would round to 20 meaning you would you would actually round up so there are two there are uh, there are essentially only two cases essentially that you can do Either you can round up or you can round down, right? So you can round up or you can round down. If essentially, if the numbers that, that you're looking at essentially is anywhere between 15 and 19, including 15 and including 19, then of course you would round to 20, which means that you're rounding up. If the numbers are anything from 11 all the way up to 14 then of course you would round down to the 10 right now you see over here that for example you see over here that if your number is 15 then when you round to the nearest tens you would round to a 20 if it's a 16 you would round to a 20 if it's a 17, you would round to 20. If it's 18, you would round to 20. If it's a 19, you would round to 20, right? And if the numbers are basically an 11, you would round to a 10. If it's a 12, you would round to a 10. If it's a 13, you would round to a 10. If it's a 14, you would round to a 10, right? So, which means that essentially, now in this in this whole situation we are rounding to the to the to the nearest tens. So the tens over here, you have a one over here, the one remains. You have a one over here, the one remains. You have a one over here, the one remains. You have a one over here, the one remains. Right? So when you that is rounding down, and when you round down essentially the digit that essentially you're rounding to. It doesn't change, right? But when you're rounding up, which is essentially all of these cases over here, you can see that essentially the 1 becomes a 2, meaning that, that you round up. So essentially all of the next digits become 0, but then the digit that you're rounding the number 2, you have to round it up, meaning that a 1 becomes a 2, a 2 becomes a 3, a 3 becomes a 4. A 4 becomes a 5, and so on and so forth, right? Again, over here, a 1 becomes a 2. A 1 becomes a 2. A 1 becomes a 2. A 1 becomes a 2, right? Now, 
Now that you understand essentially what rounding up and rounding down means, we can go back to the number that we were working with. So let's say that, so let's say that basically we have the same number over here, essentially the exact same, basically. And one more thing that that is important is basically the number of zeros that you that that you put in front of the number, meaning that suppose that the number is seventy eight six fifty three, and you want to round to the nearest thousands for example right so then you take a look at the, the digit immediately to the right of the eight it's a six which means that you have to round up because the number is is much closer to is closer to the to the greater number on the number line right so then essentially all of these digits are are, are supposed then to be are, are supposed to be substituted but by, by zeros but then your 8 becomes a 9, meaning you're rounding up. So you write the 7, the 8 becomes the 9, and then since there are 3 digits over here, you have to put 3 zeros over here. And of course, if you write the number as 79 and, for example, 2 zeros, the number completely changes. This is a 79,000, but then this is just a 7,900. So you have to be careful about the number of zeros that you put in essentially in the place of the digits that you had in the in the original number right so that's that's all about that but then again for example let's say that you have this number and the number is 432 and you want to round to the same digit basically right so then you you take a look at the the digit immediately to the right of the eight is a four so then you have to round down meaning that the digit is not anything like a five or a six or a seven or an eight or a nine basically so then you have to round down which means that the eight remains an eight it doesn't become a nine so you write essentially seven eight and then instead of the three digits three zeros that that's essentially how you round your number and again the number of zeros that you place in front of the eight are important it has to be the same number of essentially the same the same as the number of digits that you had in the in the original number right um, that's all about that right there is not nothing more that I can discuss here now coming back to the example that we had here so you have for example 28 and you want to round to the nearest tens basically <coughs> the nearest tens would be this is the ones place value this is the tens place value meaning that you're rounding to this digit so I take a look at the, the digit right to the right of immediately to the right of 2 which is an 8 which is essentially greater than or equal to 5 meaning that all of those digits that I, that I talked about essentially 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 each and every one of these numbers is greater than or equal to 5 if that's the case then you're rounding up if the number is less than 5 then you're rounding down, down basically right so the the digit when I when I look at the this, this the digit essentially is an eight which is greater than or equal to five which means that I round up and so the, essentially the two becomes a three and then this becomes of course a zero meaning the the digit is substituted with a zero and of course if you if you think of this as a number on the number line. The number is something essentially a 28 is some number between a 20 and a 30 for example and it's somewhere over here so of course a 28 is much closer to 30 than to 20 so then when you round it when you round to the nearest tens you would round it to a 30 basically right or for example the number the number 32 right 
32 rounding to the nearest tens which is this place value so I take a look at the digit right to the immediately to the right of 3 which is a 2 which is less than 5 which means that the number is closer to 30 than 40 because essentially 32 is between 30 and 40 right and 32 would be somewhere essentially over here which is much closer to 30 right than 40 so then you would essentially round down meaning the 3 remains a 3 but then the 2 is substituted with a 0 right so then essentially the number um, the number essentially becomes a 30 so which essentially shows that for example when when there is when estimation has been done or approximation has been done and the number essentially is given to you as a 30 this number could have been anything between essentially for example a 25 to a 34 for example right meaning that on a number line for example if you take a look at this number you can see it. for example the number has been estimated as a 30 right so if the number let's say that the number is a 25 right the actual number was a 25 then of course it is rounded up to a 30 because the because essentially um because essentially let's say that it's a, it's a 25 when you when you want to round this number to the nearest tens because there's a 5 over here so that's a 26 that's a 27 that's a 28 that's a 29 that's a 30 that's a 31 that's a 32 that's a 33 that's a 34 that's a 35 for example okay now suppose that the number is a 25 or essentially a 24 so it's it, if it's a 24 it's it's rounded down to a 20 right so 24 it, it, can, it can't have been a 24 so but then a 25 is rounded to 30 right it is rounded to a 30 a 26 is rounded to a 30 a 27 is rounded to a 30 a 28 is rounded 29 and so on 31 is rounded down to a 30 right 32 is rounded down to a 30 33 is rounded down to 34 again rounded down but then 35 is rounded up to a 40 right so when essentially when for example when in estimation you are told that for example there were approximately for example 30 people at this meeting if you know that for example that that, that the speaker is rounding the number down to the nearest tens for example then the actual number of participants of that meeting could have been anywhere between 25 to 34 okay and as you can see here and as you can see here uh, basically a 28 is rounded up to a 30 a 32 is rounded up to a 30 so essentially in any, in any case you will you will end up with a 30 but of course the actual numbers were different of course right so it's a range of numbers I mean I, that, that's what I mean to say now for example a 52 a 52 you want to round to the nearest tens right take a look at the number to the right the digit to the right which is a 2 which is less than 5 so you have to round down meaning that the 5 remains a 5 but then the 2 is, is substituted with a 0 so then the number becomes a 50 or a 41 but the same logic is rounded down to 40 because it's closer to 40 than to 50 or essentially for example a 39 is rounded up to a 40 a 48 is rounded up to add to a 50 a 64 is rounded down to to a 60 right 
If it was a 65, it would be rounded up to a 70. But then 64 is 60. A 59, for example, is rounded up to a 60. A 99 is rounded up to a 100. A 215, you want to round to the tens place value, and you have a 5 here, so it's rounded up to 220, right? Because there is a 5 over here, I have to round up, meaning that the 1, it becomes essentially a 1 plus 1, which is a 2. So 2, 2, and then the 5 is sub substituted with the 0, it becomes 2, 2, 0, right? Or 1,453, 1,453, rounding to the nearest tens. So if I take a look at the, the digit to the right of 5, which is a 3, I know that I have to round down because 3 is less than 5, right? Which means that I write 1, 4, the 1, 4 essentially, you don't have to do anything about that, you just write it as it is. And then you're rounding down, so the 5 remains a 5, and then this becomes, essentially, this is, the 3 is substituted with a 0. That's, so 1453 becomes 1450. Or 2936. 2936, you're rounding to the nearest tens. So, the 2 and 9 remains, remain the same right next to right next to three you have a six which means that it's a digit greater than or equal to five which means that you have to round up so the three becomes a four and the six is substituted with the zero so 2936 becomes a 2940 right so this essentially tells you about um this essentially tells you about rounding number. This this was all about essentially an exercise in rounding numbers to the nearest tens. Essentially, in the next video we will do the same thing, but the, but then essentially we will round numbers to the nearest uh, hundreds. Thank you.